Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Intel i211 gigabit network adapter is not working properly on your computer. And you might be getting a device status message that Windows has stopped this device because it has reported problems, code 43. There could be other error codes affiliated with this as well, but that's just one common one that seems that people are experiencing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you're using an Ethernet cable, perhaps, make sure it is plugged in properly and firmly. You may want to try swapping it out with a different cable as well. So if you're using an Ethernet-based connection. However, there's other options we can explore here as well if you're still having a problem. And the first option would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig, followed by a space, forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration, successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now that that has concluded, go ahead and type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back, we've successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. And if you're still having a problem, one final thing we can try here as well is just to reset our network settings back to default. If you're using a Wi-Fi based connection to connect to the internet, you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby because once we're done with our next step and you restart your computer, you will need those to connect back to the internet. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and proceed. And we're gonna start by opening up the search menu, type in network reset, Best match, should come back with Network Reset. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, it's going to say this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select Yes. And now at this point, go ahead and close out of here and save and close out of any open programs or applications and then proceed to restart your computer at this time. And then hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.